Today we're going to be looking at a play out of the West Coast Gun Bunch formation, and we're taking a look at the play Stick. Now, this play is really, really, really good for a lot of different reasons, but today we're going to be showing you how to use this play as the big corner, little corner concept, which is really effective whenever you have Slot Apprentice or Hot Route Master to be able to create this passing concept. Now, if you want to get my entire West Coast offensive ebook, it's in the Patreon. We just updated it for you guys. Patreon members get access to all the ebooks as well as all the updates to the ebooks and any new ebooks that we drop. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks that will help you become a better Madden player. So if you want to check out the Patreon, the link's going to be in the description. For just $10, you'll get access to everything that we have over on the Patreon page. Now, the big corner, little corner concept takes advantage of the way that the corner routes will run to essentially run or flood zone coverages in a really, really effective manner. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the slot receiver here on a slot apprentice or a hot route master corner route. From there, pretty much everything else is up to you. What I recommend is to streak the tight end, and then we're going to drag the solo wide receiver. We also have our running back blocking. One little pro tip, if you are worried that your opponent might be running some match quarters or match palms to try to take away your corner routes, go ahead and just motion the running back to the right, and that will cancel any kind of match principle that somebody can have on the field. Against man coverage, really the best route on the play is a shorter corner route, as you can see right there. Um, we're going to need to freeform that a little bit more to the sideline to get a little better separation. I'll show you something else you can do uh, really cool against man in just a second. But I want to first and foremost talk about the stick corner route. It's a sharp cutting corner route. Oftentimes, you're going to need to throw this. Um, you're going to want to throw it a little bit more like an out route than a corner route. So a corner route, you would want to throw like up and outside. When you're throwing the stick corner against man coverage, you almost want to throw it like down into the outside, almost like a back shoulder throw. That's a little. That's pretty much exactly what you want to do uh, to throw this corner route open against man coverage consistently. Now, another cool part about this offense, and, and specifically the way corner routes run, if they don't have safety help over the top and you're getting the press, if you freeform and pass lead this uh, corner route up into the outside, the deeper corner route, you can actually get that over-the-shoulder catching animation pretty consistently. So show it to you again. You see here he's going to get off the jam, and now we have all this space uh, for him to be able to run after the catch. So those are two routes that you have in your arsenal uh, to be able to defeat man-to-man -man coverage. Now let's say your opponent is using this, and they're going to go to the right side of the screen and snap the ball. What you want to do is you want to then go ahead and look to your backside dr uh, drag route which is one of the best man beating routes in the game this year. Now I actually had the the guy in the running the guy that was guarding the running back convert to man coverage. If you know it's all out man to man coverage, go ahead and put your running back on a wheel because now they have to have safety help on both sides and they won't get that free robber defender over the middle if your running back goes on a route. So that's just a little bit of an advanced version of the setup that will help a little bit more if you're playing someone that is running man to man coverage. But what makes this play really I think the best passing concept to Madden 24 is what it can do for you against zone. A lot of people are playing zone right now because man coverage is really easy to manipulate. So a lot of people are going to zone coverage to try to stop it. And the beauty of this play art and the beauty of what you're going to see from the slot receiver is the slot receiver is going to pull any outside quarter or outside third defender. A lot of times what people will do to try to stop uh, this concept right here is they're going to call cover four because I've got my bunch to the wide side of the field. That means that outside quarter can play that corner route, as you can see. The beauty of the play stick and plays similar to the play stick is that you have two corner routes and the deeper corner route is going to pull that outside quarter zone. And so it's going to open up for this shorter corner route. So you see here, if I wait to throw this, as soon as that outside quarter kind of turns his back to go get the deeper corner route, Devontae Adams is going to be wide open over there on the sideline. So super, super key um, if you're trying to use this to attack cover three or cover four. And here's we'll show this against cover three as well. Again, we're just going to wait, 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 and then throw this just at the last second with an outside, basically, again, like an out route, outside and underneath or uh, outside and back to, back to the line of scrimmage. So this is going to mean that your opponent's going to do one or two things. If they do play cover two on this, uh, on this play and they press it, what you need to understand about cover two this year is if you play a pressed cover two with a cloud flat, it will stop that stick corner, but it won't stop that second corner route that is running way over the top of a standard cloud flat adjustment. So if you see that, you're going to be able to throw that deep corner out against a cover two coverage. 
However, what a lot of people are doing right now in terms of how they're wanting to run their cover two is they're going to run this essentially as a double Mabel concept to try to get these deep cloud flats at 30 yards to be able to take away your corner routes. The problem is kind of similar to what we see against cover three and cover four. That cloud flat defender is going to keep going back to that deeper corner route. It's going to leave this five yard window underneath to be able to throw your shorter corner route for easy, easy gains. So if they're in the cover two, even though I have my uh, my cloud flat here is a 30 yard cloud flat, even though it's a 30 yard cloud flat, it'll never get deep enough, quick enough. And of course, I say that and I got kind of some random bumping. We'll show this to you a little bit. We'll show this to you again. If they're in a 30 yard cloud flat and we don't get bumped out of our out of our world here, you're going to see that this slot receiver uh, is going to get over the top of that. So we'll just let this kind of run a little bit more. And as you can see, we're able to hit this over the top against that uh, pressed cloud flat. So in order for them to defend that deeper corner out, they have to play a backed off cloud flat, which is then going to leave your underneath corner out open for an easy gain. So if they decide, well, okay, all that's going down, I'm gonna have to go use or the corner out to take it away. Then what that does is it's gonna leave the whole middle of the field open for us to have a high low between our tight end and our drag route over the middle. This play is super effective. One of the best money plays in Madden 24. If you wanna learn my entire West Coast offensive ebook, Join the Patreon at the link down in the description for just $10. You'll get access to everything that we have. Guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. So head down 